Hi, today I'm going to show you how to export citations from Gale databases into Noodle Tools. First, you need to make sure that you are logged into Noodle Tools. Then you'll need to get to your Gale databases. I'm going to demonstrate global issues in context. From our LibGuide, you can click on Global Issues in Context and look at the database. It has a lot of current news topics. You can even browse topics and see a list of all of the topics that they cover. We're going to just look at access to healthcare. And notice they have many different types of sources. So you'll have newspaper articles, images, reference articles, statistics, audio, video, magazines, and academic journals. Just to demonstrate the database, I'm going to click on the first thing right here. And what I'm looking at is an article from the New York Times from January 18th. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can see the recommended source citation. And you could do this manually. It's from a newspaper. But with the new feature, you can actually just click on Citation Tools up in the top right hand corner. And you can export from here directly into your Noodle Tools. So right here, it's showing you what it's going to look like. It, you're showing you that you're in MLA 8th edition and you have to select Noodle Tools as the software. Now, when you click Export, you'll see a pop-up blocker. This will look a little different in every browser. So for example, if you're using Chrome, way up here in the top right-hand corner, you'll see a tiny red X, and you'll have to click on that red X. Uh, it'll look different in Firefox as well. But what I need to do here in Internet Explorer is under Options for this site, I need to click Always Allow so that my pop-up blocker will allow a Gale uh, pop-up. Once I've done that, I will progress through and I'll be able to do it again. So once I've overridden the pop-up blocker, I can try it one more time. And now you can see that it's working. I'm seeing what it'll look like in Noodle Tools. I don't need to edit it. And here I can select what project I want to import it into. And when I click Import References, it says one reference successfully exported to project. When I go to my project and I look at my sources, I can see it now. And the reason that using this export button is better than just copying and pasting is if I did later decide I wanted to edit it, when I go into Noodle Tools in the Edit button, it's actually putting all the fields in the correct um, places so that, so let's say I wanted to change something about the author, I wanted to add another author, I can just do it here using the Noodle Tools um, software and I don't have to sort of manually figure out how to do it. So um, that's it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and you'll use it a lot.